Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about scope resolution operator in System Vlog. The scope resolution operator is used to specify an identifier defined within the scope of the class. So this is the scope resolution operator, two columns we will use. So inside the class, whatever is the identifiers are there, data, functions or task, whatever is there inside the class in order to specify that, in order to refer to that uh, outside of the class scope or outside of the, outside of the class hierarchy, we will use the scope resolution operator so identifier in the sense the static members of the class especially in order to refer to the static members of the class outside the class scope thing but inside the module we will use the scope resolution operator so the advantage of this scope resolution operator is without creating the handle of the class we can access the static members right basically what we will do we will use the class handle in order to access something which is present in the class for example uh, if you have a transaction t t is the handle of the transaction class t dot data t dot display we will use the handle of the class but when we use the scope resolution operator we can we don't have to use the class handle without the class handle we can access the static members of the class so not uh, this scope resolution operator is not only used for the accessing of static members it can also be used in other scenarios we will discuss everything in detail okay so this is the syntax class name scope resolution operator class member Hi, this is uh, uh, I'm we are focusing on classes so this is the syntax I'm using here you don't have to use the class name only you don't have to use the class name every time okay we will discuss everything so the usage of scope resolution operator the first one is as I said to access the static members of the class scope so in order to access the static members of the class without the handle of the class we can use the scope resolution operator and one more thing is to define the extend function to define the extend method so i'm not going to make any video on um, extend function okay so i will explain here only extend methods provides the facility for the class methods to define them outside of the class scope so when we use this uh, when we will use this extend function is first of all we will use the keyword extend with the function okay how the static keyword are there uh, how the static keyword is there how the um, local keyword is there similarly we have a keyword extend we will use with the function which is scope resolution operator so this extend function provides the facility for the class method to define them outside of the class define in the sense implementing it writing the code okay so why we use this extend function is when we have a number of lines of code inside the uh, body of the function if you have a function uh, print okay function wide um, print so if you if the method print has number of lines of code if, if it has a uh, 10 number of lines okay 10 number of uh, uh, lines that time we don't have to write we don't have to define them inside the class only just for the readability purpose uh, we can define them outside of the class by using the extend function for that what you have to do you have to use the keyword extend okay so we will see everything in the example uh, this is the use of the extend function if you uh, for the easier implementation for the better readability purpose we will use the extend method if we have a, a multiple number of lines multiple uh, lines of code okay inside the body of the method so that time what we can do just we can declare the name of the function with the help of scope resolution operator and outside of the class after end class we can implement it we can define the um, code so when we see the class code uh, we can see that okay this this class has this method this class has this method so we can find this uh, we can find its implementation in the outside of the class okay when we use the extend function so this is the use of extend function and the third usage is to access or refers to the package items without importing so in the import video i have explained right uh, before accessing some before accessing the items of the package what we'll do first we'll import it right so import we will use the keyword import and the package name scope resolution operator the item of the package so this is how we will access the package items there also we will use the scope resolution operator right so without importing all the items of the package we can access the particular item from the package how by using the scope resolution operator right so here also we can use the scope resolution operator and to avoid the namespace collision this is also unhelpful okay if you have a same variable in the class scope or in the package or in the module when you have a uh, when you have the same data type same variable that time there will there can uh, there is a possibility of namespace collision right so in order to avoid that in, in order to avoid that or in order to prevent that we can use the scope resolution operator so that uh, by using the scope resolution operator we can access the 
package item or the variable so when we use the when we use the scope precision operator it will point to that scope so that uh, the namespace collision can be avoided okay these are all the use of scope precision operator and one more thing is accessing automatic class members has an illegal scope of access as i said inside the class whatever is there if you don't mention it as a static it is automatic by default right inside the class whatever is there by default it is automatic if it is a function if it is a task or if it is the data by default it is a it is the automatic so accessing automatic class members has an illegal scope of access we can access only the static members of the class okay this is the uh, these are all the points you need to remember now we will see the examples so here is my example the class transaction so inside the transaction i have data and id data is automatic and id is static so if you don't mention any static keyword it is automatic by default inside the class whatever the data methods are there those are all uh, automatic by default okay so here i have a static method static function and automatic function so here i have not used any static keyword so it is automatic and inside the module inside the initial begin end what i am doing here you can see i am not declaring any handle any instance of the class transaction i am just using the transaction class class name and scope resolution operator and the variable the identifier so that is static right we can access only the static member of the class as i said transaction scope resolution operator and the static member and i am assigning the value here also i am accessing the static uh, member of the class nothing but stat display this is a static function right i am accessing by using the scope resolution operator and that method has a argument id that id is also of static type that's why again i am using transaction class because inside the module we are passing right inside the module we are passing so here we don't have any variable id i don't have in the module so i am using the id which is present in the class only that too of static type so that's why i'm using transaction scope resolution operator id so now i will run the code so meanwhile we will uncomment this okay we can access only the static members not the automatic uh, variables okay if we access it is illegal we, it will um, it leads to an error so this is the first two statements value of id is 5 right we are getting so here i'm calling that's why i'm getting this statement sorry this statement id i'm getting so now again i will run because i uncommented it transaction data and auto display so okay sorry here display i will stop and run here data is automatic type and this auto display is also automatic type now it has to show the error see Sc uh, scoped reference to the non static class task or function right it is showing that reference to the non static class task or function auto display is not allowed it is showing we are getting the error right so uh, this is illegal we can't access the automatic non static members of the class only we can access the static member of the class So here I have a class scope, int a, a is the variable of the class and I have a automatic function display and here I have a keyword, I have a extern method. I said right, I said before extern keyword. So if we have a multiple lines of code inside the body of the method, we can implement it, we can define it outside of the class scope. So here I am just declaring the function print. I am using the keyword extern, extern function void print. So the implementation of this print method is outside of the class scope here you can see function void see the syntax how i am using function void in the in the place of name of the function i am using the scope resolution operator because this method is present inside the class this method this print method is inside the class right so i am using the name of the class nothing but scope here and scope resolution operator and name of the method is print Right. This is how we have to write the extern method and inside the extern method as I said if you have a multiple lines here we don't have number of lines still I'm using the I'm showing you that how we can use the extern method how to write the extern method okay so 
uh, I have package also here package pkg and inside the package I have a variable c and it has a value 30 and inside the module one more variable I have here I am showing both the uh, second and third point okay so in order to uh, access the, in order to write the extend methods that is the second point and the third point is in order to access the package package items right so this is the package and I have a variable c here and it will cover the fourth point also in order to avoid the namespace collision right you can see inside the package I have a variable c and inside the module also I have a variable c both side I have a variable c so how it will understand which variable uh, it will always consider the current scope variable right it will always consider current scope variable so in order to differentiate that you can use the scope resolution operator okay so inside the module I have a variable c and it has a value 10 and inside the initial begin I am um, instantiating the class scope okay p is equals to new and I am assigning the uh, value I am assigning the value c to the class variable a for this variable I am assigning the value c so which value it will take now it will consider this c value okay so always it will consider the current scope variable so but I here you can see I am calling the display method and I'm calling this display method I'm passing the value this a value I'm passing and I'm calling the print print method also okay this extend method I'm calling and after that what I'm doing I'm assigning the value c to the uh, a variable here you can see this is the namespace collision if I don't use the uh, if I don't use this c how it will understand I want to use the c variable which is present inside the package I don't want this c to assign okay that time how we can differentiate by using the scope resolution operator so when i write scope resolution operator here i have not imported the pack uh, pa package right i have not imported the package i'm just using the package item by using the scope resolution operator so package scope resolution operator c so this scope resolution operator refers to the package item and uh, c okay so i'm assigning this value and here i'm printing again package uh, scope resolution operator c i will run the code so the usage of this scope resolution operator in order to write the extend methods and in order to point to the package items and in order to avoid the namespace collision. Here you can see value is 10 extend print. So this is the display method which is present in the class and this is the extern method print. I am getting a is equals to 10 and package item a equals to 30 package c equals to 30 right here. So this 10 I am getting for A when I display this uh, message. In print also I am getting because both side I have a variable AA. So I am getting 10, 10 and here for C, C value is 30. I am assigning that C to the variable A. So I am getting 30, 30. So this is the usage of scope resolution operator. And one more example I have will show you. So the last example is this one. I have a package inside the package I have a enum enum type and it has two values true and false but, um, the variable name is boolware okay and this is the end package inside the module same uh, same enum value I have same enum variable I have see boolean where and boolean where and the values are different here first true and second false I have here first false second true and I'm giving the name bv because i have used the type def keyword here so i can give the new name now so bv is the enum variable now and here i am assigning the value true to the variable enum variable bv so what value it will consider which value it will consider this value it will consider because first the priority is current scope right so this true value will be assigned to the variable bv if i print bv what i will get i will get the value 1 Right, this is 0 and this is 1. So here you can see bv is equals to bool where tick this package. Why I'm use uh, if I don't use this tick, this is the static typecasting. Okay, so this is the static typecasting. Here I'm using tick. So because if we don't use it, we will get the compatibility error. Okay, so I'm using tick and now it is assigning the keyword, it is we are assigning the value true to the variable bv. Here also we have true, right? In order to differentiate in between package item and the module item, we will using the scope resolution operator. So when I use the scope resolution operator, it points to the package package item. So that value will be assigned to the variable BV, 
right so i will run the code so this is used to avoid the namespace collision here you can see bv is equals to 1 bv is equals to 0 for this uh, for this we are getting value 1 because true is value 1 right 0 1 and for the second variable bv we are getting val value 0 so value of true is uh, what's the value of true 0 right in the package item the value of the uh, true is 0 so we are getting value 0 understood so this is how we can use the scope resolution operator and yeah we can use this scope resolution operator in the compilation unit also right dollar unit we will use dollar unit and scope resolution operator the whatever the item which is present in the compilation so right? compilation unit there also we can use the scope resolution operator so these are all the usage of scope resolution operator thank you